Hear that last line again. Then in anger his master handed him over to the torturers until he should pay back the whole debt. So will my heavenly Father do to you unless each of you forgives your brother from your heart. When I was praying with that, especially that last line, forgive your brother from your heart, I had all these flashbacks flood my mind and I could hear my mom and dad, both of them saying either to me or to my little brother, now say sorry to your brother. And how would we say it? Sorry, you know. (laughs) Not really sorry, right? Not really sorry. And they knew it, and we knew it. We weren't really sorry. It took time to be actually sorry. I'm lingering there, and I was stuck there on that verse because of how often I hear, just working with people, walking with people, hearing in confession, how often I hear people struggle with unforgiveness. So many of us are carrying around unforgiveness towards a particular person, towards a group of people, towards family, towards friends, towards people who used to be close, right? Unforgiveness, resentment, bitterness, all of those things, they just linger in us. We've got to face this head on right here. I want to face this this morning, this unforgiveness business, because it's what it ultimately amounts to is a poison that we're trying to kill somebody else with, but we're drinking the poison. Right? You've heard that before, I'm sure. That's what unforgiveness is. It's trying to kill another person by drinking poison yourself. It's not helpful. Notice how Jesus makes a conditional statement connected to forgiveness. Unless, he says, unless each of you forgives your brother from your heart, this is what your Heavenly Father is going to do to you. We have to enter into forgiveness. I mean, it's right there in the Our Father. Every single day we say it. Forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. So here Jesus says we must forgive from our hearts. So what does that mean? Let's first say a word what that doesn't mean. It doesn't mean I have to sum up within myself, I have to summon within myself good feelings again towards this person. Like you got to feel warm and fuzzy again towards them. No, no, no. Because we're not necessarily in control of our feelings. So here's, here's my take. Here's my take of what he means when he says, forgive from your heart. We have to engage our hearts, right? Like, so when my brother and I, when we'd be, you know, I'm sorry. Like, there was no heart attached to that. It was all just lip service. There was nothing in the heart engaged. We have to engage our hearts in recognizing that forgiveness is a process that oftentimes it does take time. It takes time to enter into it. It takes deep prayer of entering into it. If you're someone who struggles with unforgiveness, I want to offer you this as as a starting point for entering into forgiveness. And it's this, that I want you to imagine yourself, this is the scene, I want you to imagine yourself on the top of Golgotha, that you're there on Good Friday as Jesus is hanging on the cross in those hours between noon and three when he is offering himself suspended between heaven and earth and no one else happens to be there except you and Mary Mary standing there with you and Jesus is on the cross and he's looking down but he's not looking at you he's looking at the person or the persons that you most struggle to forgive that they're there too at the foot of the cross, and Jesus is gazing upon them. And Mary's right there at your side, and she says to you, look at how he looks at them. Look at what he's doing for them. Because the the very thing that wounded you most from this person, that person's sin that you're holding on to, that resentment you're holding on to, Like, Jesus is on the cross for that sin. He's bearing it. He's doing it. And he's on the cross bearing your unforgiveness. He's carrying all of it. But you have to see what's in his eyes is not anger or bitterness. What's in his eyes is mercy and compassion. That that's how he looks at the person who hurt you the most. And then he looks at the person who you've hurt the most. And he looks at you the same. So offer that to us this morning as a way to enter into this forgiveness business that sometimes we just need an image 
to develop this process. Forgiveness really begins with seeing Jesus look at the ones who I don't want to forgive. Father, forgive them. That's what he says. Let's enter into that dynamic. Let's enter into that spiritual battle, that prayer today. Amen.